what is up everybody welcome back to the channel Alrighty, y'all so as you can tell i am not at home i am here in denver colorado and i'm at my cousin's house and um yeah long story short this texas trip did not go as planned and um i uh i made the best of it as you guys could tell i drove all the way across <laughs> across the country and um i didn't do much um, I didn't really put in much clips of when I was at, like, in Texas. Um, and I didn't really, you know, say much when I was there. So I'm probably going to just take the car and run to uh, somewhere, go find a spot, and uh, just kind of get to explaining and let you guys know why I'm here. So as you guys can tell, I am at this beautiful spot out here. Um, and I believe it is called Cherry Lake or Cherry Reservoir State Park or something like that or Cherry Creek Cherry Creek State Park but yeah I am literally in the middle of Colorado in Denver um, well outside of Denver a little bit Denver is right over there somewhere I'll uh, show you guys like the, the city skyline and everything here in a minute but yeah I gotta get some explaining done and long story short I took a trip to Texas and it did not go as planned, you guys, um, in multiple reasons. One, the, my car broke down. And uh, I had to literally get the whole turbo replaced and everything. I don't know if you guys remember, but not too long ago, I got a used motor. Or, yeah, I got a used motor. And I took off the turbo from that used motor. So, the turbo obviously wasn't gonna last long but i really was not hoping for it to happen on this trip and it really set me back like hugely um not only money wise but i had to stay there and i was stuck there longer in literally the middle of nowhere in texas in lubbock texas and uh you know things kind of went south with my friends and whatnot i'm not gonna get too into it but just know I was mad respectful, as you guys know. If you know me, you know I am literally all about people and I am all about creating great times. And yeah, I kind of really got screwed over, honestly. So that's like the moral of the story. And the moral of why I'm here is because my cousin lives here in Colorado and I just, I needed to stop and get some sleep. And I figured, you know, what, what might be better than, you know, seeing my cousin that I haven't seen in years honestly i haven't i haven't seen her in like almost 10 years so it was really good to catch up with her and uh whatnot and get some actual good rest not in a freaking motel room um so yeah <laughs> but moral of the story is i kind of got screwed over and i really screwed myself i really probably shouldn't have went at the time i did um because i just wasn't really prepared for everything you know what i mean obviously wasn't wasn't expecting everything to happen the way it did but um yeah i don't know i guess you know you live and you learn and you take things as you go and it's a huge lesson for me so i don't know i don't know exactly what this video is going to be called um you know texas trip gone bad or some shit i don't know but yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna pop the hood and show you guys this new turbo and i don't even, honestly man i was like really really concerned that they did not even like actually change my turbo because it literally does not look new at all and you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think i have the freaking the the like the receipt and everything you know what i mean um and like the the part that they ordered or whatever but dude the way it looks it just don't look like a whole new turbo it looks like they just like replaced like the hot side or something like that but then again this the turbos on these cars are all one piece like it's literally casted in into a the manifold is casted with the turbo as well so it's all one piece so i don't know i'm really curious as to what they actually did because i had them order a part hopefully you can hear me that that thing is flying over but <laughs> yeah i had them order this part um it, and it's a plug it's an egr cooler delete plug and it's like the actual kit i don't know if you guys know but a long time ago i deleted the egr cooler on my car and um they actually make a whole kit for it and i did not know that so i bought that kit and was telling volkswagen you know this needs to be installed on the new turbo dude they didn't even install that part i had parts missing 
I had to tell them to go get my stuff, dude. Like, I'm not playing around. I want my stuff. Like, I bought that, like, way long ago, like, with something else. They changed my cool freaking mech mechanique evolution block off plate on my freaking turbo for some blank one that i got with this egr cooler delete kit or whatever and i'm like are you fucking kidding me dude like no that is not what i asked you to do so that is the last time that i will ever go to volkswagen to have my uh car fixed but again i was just on the road i didn't like i have all my tools but not the not enough tools to replace a whole turbo right now if you guys are getting what i'm getting at i literally had to go to volkswagen to have them order a turbo replace it and do all the work and it costed dude honestly i'll tell you guys it costed almost two grand just about two grand to do everything and never again will i ever go through that experience dude yeah let's pop the hood and we'll see this new turbo which does not look new to me really It all looks the exact same. Like this, that thing, like they replaced everything on the, like the, the whole shield and everything. Engine bay is dirty as hell, don't mind it. But seriously, like look at that. That does not look like a new turbo. There should be, don't mind this. That's just stuff that I have to have unplugged because of the EGR and all that, all the deletes that I have. But like, dude, look at the dirt and the grime on top of the this supposedly new turbo and then they freaking put all the exhaust wrap back on it when i asked them not to like why the only reason i had the exhaust wrap on this turbo was because it was old and i didn't know how long it was going to last and i figured you know may as well exhaust wrap it help it you know last longer or whatever and it looked ugly as crap with all the the like it was like rusted looking you know what i mean so i had them like i told them so i told them literally keep that exhaust wrap off and they freaking didn't they literally they they literally kept the exhaust wrap on and everything's just all like moved around in places it shouldn't be you know what i mean and like my shit's fucked up <laughs> straight up yeah, man it's just like nothing looks really new to me here the only thing that looks somewhat new is this damn wastegate that is literally it. Or this blow off wastegate, whatever, diverter valve, or whatever the hell you call these things on, on the TDI. That is the only thing that looks new to me. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what kind of work they did, but I'm gonna have to go in there, take things apart and see exactly what they did because I don't trust that one bit, not one bit. And I swear to Christ, if I get in there and I take all that exhaust wrap off, and I actually put the plug in where it's supposed to go in the bottom of the turbo, and that turbo's not new. Oh boy. Gene Messer Volkswagen in Lubbock, Texas, you're gonna have a problem on your hands. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. So it better be a new turbo um, because it surely doesn't look like it to me. Um, but other than that, I think I'm gonna wrap this up right here and I'm gonna just take some cinematics, let you guys enjoy those, and then maybe talk about a couple more things. these cinematics these birds they just be flying right in front of my face dude like they do not care <laughs> but um honestly not sure what else i'm gonna do oh yeah i'll go show you guys the city skyline and everything like i was talking about but yeah man i still got lots to do and when i get home i gotta check everything out because honestly i do not trust what volkswagen did again like i said they took parts 
off of my car that I told them not to touch. And literally, like, we're almost going to take my stuff. Like, almost going to take multiple parts. And then literally, like, not only that, but they threw my whole tool bag in the back of my car upside down, bro. Just don't give a shit. Like, that is just ridiculously rude to me, bro. Like, ooh, dude, that shit set me off, honestly. Like, I was hella hot. And I was, I was telling them, I'm like, bro, like, nothing's done. Like, what do you mean? What did you guys even do? And they're like, well, we did. We just tried to make it look you know like as it was when you brought it here and like i get that but like bro like i just do not trust it because i told them to do things and they didn't even do it and the fact that i bought a part and had it overnighted so they would put it in and they didn't put it in is quite ridiculous that is very irritating to me and then they tried to tell me that no it doesn't need the plug or anything on it i don't know what you're talking about bro stop dude <laughs> I, and I was like, dude, I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but dude, I know just as much as you do. And I know that this part needs to be installed. So don't tell me that it doesn't. <laughs> so yeah, I got to go home. And uh, honestly, my route home is going to be quite long. So yeah, I'm going to talk about my route home. Um, like I was saying, I'm going to post this video today and uh, go finish it off, you know, for you guys and whatnot. And um, yeah, uh, like I said, show you guys the city skyline and whatnot. And then... Um, just do whatever else. I don't know. But my road home is going to be from here, from Denver. I'm going to go up into Wyoming and then down into Utah. Probably stay somewhere in Utah or Idaho right there. And then through Idaho and then into Oregon the rest of the way home. Back to Portland. So I've got quite the trip ahead of me. And like I said, I'm going to end off this video today and then post up another one for you guys. Um, on the like from the rest of the road trip home so i hope you guys enjoyed this little segment and these cinematics and everything and um let's just continue on with the rest of the day just gonna you know give you guys one last look at this place it's actually really freaking huge i don't know if you can see that little tower way over there but yeah it goes all the way to the other side and whatnot so I'm gonna go out this side and uh, go to like some store or something, grab a drink, and then head back to my uh, cousin's house and wrap this video up properly for you guys. Big shout out to the guys over at Lesh Wob. Got me uh, my alignment right and everything. So hopefully as I drive out of here, she's solid and drives straight. Looks to be like it. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get back to my cousins, check tire pressure and everything, and make sure we're good for that drive back home. And that is gonna wrap up this video. I really appreciate everybody for tuning in, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you guys made it to the end, seriously, thank you so much. I know I've been gone for quite a bit. I plan on uploading videos while I was in Texas, and hopefully you guys can hear me while that jet blows by. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, um, that's pretty much it. I don't know. Things just did not go as planned, so I made the best of it, and I had fun here in Colorado. I'm super glad I got to stay at my cousin's house and not in a motel, and um, it was a lot better than <laughs> you know uh, the last few days I've had. So I'm glad I got to spend time with her and see her. I haven't seen her in like 10 years. Uh, but yeah, I've got everything loaded up. I'm about to hit the road um, And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna end off this video here start a new one and we're gonna go back to home So make sure you guys stay tuned for more like comment subscribe turn those notifications on Stay tuned for some great mark 6 Volkswagen content and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace